Well, guys, we're back with puppy training. So what, if you remember what's been going on is this dog was sort of defaulting to the down on its own, which I found really, really good because prior to that, she was very frenetic, clawing and jumping and overreacting to all the other dogs. She was having a hyper groveling response, running up to every dog. And, and, and the problem with doing that is, is dogs respond to groveling uh, with aggression. I mean, it just, it's how they do. So what I've got is a dog that started defaulting to the down on its own. So what I said I want my job to be is to factor the pager into that. So what I want to do is I'm going to get my pager on the back of my neck here. I need to get the puppy standing up. So watch. I, I, and it's as strange as it seems, I, I don't need my verbal command right now because I'm, I'm speaking with the physicality of the pager. Or so, and, and if you said that didn't make it go down, I would say probably not. But my job was only to factor it in there as the cue. If we go away. <laughs> All right, look. And I don't want to do. I don't. I'll, and I'm just going to tell you right now. The only way I want to do the pager right now is for the down. I'm not going to try to get it up with the pager at this point. I'm just going to use the food to get her up. All right, watch. And, and I'm not necessarily. You know, and I'm, I'm not going to say necessarily, I'm, I'm definitely not going to do this as the down later. I'm just using this to factor in. I want that pager occurring with this behavior. I want it to be occurring. And, and she's really understanding it. If you said this is in any way upsetting this puppy, I would say, I'm not, I'm just absolutely not seeing it. All right, watch. So my hand's going to go down. It's all concurrent. She's already learning. I'm taking this as my cue. And if you had to describe the way I'm doing it at this point, it's it's definitely more of a click. Watch. All right, guys, we'll be right back with a little bit of recall. 